Welcome to our Christmas workshop. I know it's over the top, but it's Christmas. And hey, what can I say? We love gifts. This whole table is filled with custom gifts created by our sand carving system, our 2034. And we have our Graphics Pro Breakaway Session number five. Again, the topic, custom gifts. So I'm Liz Haas with Raise This Photo Mask. Thank you for joining me. I'd also like to thank our virtual um, trade show viewers. Welcome to this segment. This is a great segment. It's packed. It's filled with projects, ideas, paint fill, blasting, making stencils. You name it. We got it. We're doing it. We have questions and answers today, so please send your questions. Okay, um, so you're going to join me for the next five hours. We're going to have this session. We're going to we're going to kind of cover this whole table here and with products and well, hang on one second. We I don't have five hours. They're saying I have one hour. My crew is telling me I only have one hour max. Wow. Okay. It's going to be almost almost impossible to cover everything, but we're going to get through it. We're going to go quickly. So if I move too fast, please send in your questions. I'm happy to answer them. Um, let's talk about gifts, custom gifts. Everything behind me was created with this 2034 sand carving system. And this system is a great system. It was able to and capable of blasting anywhere from your crystal, your, your wood products, your stone products, wine bottles, and guess what? A champagne bottle. I know a lot of people say you can't blast champagne bottles, but you know what? You can, and we did, and we did in there. So it's going to be fun. Um, let's go ahead and let's kind of get started what we have. We have g the gift market. And you know what? The gift market is a huge market right now. It's a booming market. It's exploding. You know that people are buying gifts? So the, the companies that are making gift baskets, providing personalized wine bottles, they're booming right now. They are doing very well. Did you know that home-based businesses are doing extremely well right now during our pandemic? Why? They're home. We have to be home, right? We've been home for the last three months. People are shopping online. They're working from home, and they're creating products. They're creating handcrafted products, some of them, by sandblasting, and they're doing very well. You can do well, too, or you can tap into that market. Why not? It's there. It's the holiday season, and people are ready to give. People are ready to buy. Um, people are ready to get out and celebrate the holiday season. We don't want to forget about Thanksgiving as well. But we have that gift market, right? It's, it's, but what sand carving allows you to do is to create custom gifts. All right, And people are home and they're purchasing. For me, yes, that was absolutely true. I've been a purchaser. I've been buying online. So the last several months, I probably bought more shoes and more dresses than I have in the last three years. Now, that may be a bit extreme, but if anyone knows me, they know I love my shoes and I love my dresses, and hey, there are good deals out there. So we gotta take advantage. We gotta tap in to taking advantage of those deals, but as well as buying products. So that's where you come in. What can you do? What can you create? And that's what I'm here to show you. How can you profit from this holiday season? Right, so it's a big season. And let's take a look at what we have here. Everything here, again, has been sand carved. So if you're thinking about adding sand carving to your business, it's a great, great setup. It's a great low investment, low maintenance, but yet look at all the products it can do. So you have your optic crystal, ceramics, metal. You have your spirit-filled bottles, wood, stone, everything here you can blast. Let's take a look at our mugs here. Something very simple. This is an everyday item. So the tumblers, your glasses, your mugs, these are everyday items that we've turned into a gift. And so this right here is for our new, new parents. They're just simple mugs. You know, Mama Bear established 2020. Papa Bear, Papa established 2020. Matching mugs, a great gift. And again, something that you use every day. You have Bailey, our best friend. Now let's talk about the holidays, right? We're, we're all about family. We're all about giving, um, recognizing, remembering people. Okay, so we got to remember those that we've lost. And how can you remember them during the holiday season? Well, sometimes people will put an ornament on the tree with the loved one, the lost loved one's name. They'll put an ornament on the tree. Or you can have a simple mug. Now this one is Bailey. We lost Bailey, but you know what? 
Bailey. We're going to remember Bailey um, this Christmas season. So every time we have a cup of coffee, every time we use our mug, we are remembering Bailey. And how can you make money off a simple ceramic mug? You might say, like, my gosh, that's too complicated. There's too much paint in there. But you know what? It's pretty easy. Your cost for a mask on this one is probably around 75 to 80 cents. For the larger mugs, you're looking at about 96 cents, maybe 90 to 96 cents. So your cost in material is very low. Okay, your blasting time, let's say about two minutes max for blasting these mugs. That's max. So you have a low cost stencil, about two minutes of blasting time. And if you want to add paint, well, it's just going to take a couple extra minutes to add paint, let it dry, peel off that stencil, and then you have a wow, a great custom gift right here. What do these sell for? Depending on the size of the mug, you're probably looking anywhere from $18 up to, I've seen them up to 30. So again, your time and effort is very minimal. But if you can add paint or you can just leave it blank, and that's up to you, but you have a wide range of profit that you can make on that. The more design you have, the more I would charge. The less design, then you can charge less. But you have, you can do be patriotic. You can put someone's name on there. You, there's so much that you can do for just a simple mug. Let's look here. The next item I have are metal. Definitely, you can sandblast metal. You can actually um, put a stencil on and just remove the polish. And look at that smooth finish right there. Just very smooth. You can actually leave the stencil on and add a paint fill. So this lettering, lettering has all been paint filled black. Okay. Um, the powder coated tumbler, these are all very popular as you know. You can sandblast them, but you can paint film and you're not limited to the color black. You can use different colors. So here we have copper, like a gold color, and this is this says Queen. So we have all that detail. Queen the MVM show brandy. Hmm. I wonder who created this tumbler. Um, we appreciate Brandy, we appreciate the NBM crew, great crew, so we can, we see the gifts here and um, we know who created that tumbler. But let's talk about the metal tumblers here. These are popular right now. They've always been popular, but they're more popular. You know why? Because the schools that are open, they, they've closed down the water fountains. And guess what? You have schools are requiring students to take a metal bottle or a tumbler for water. Okay, so it's a requirement now. Now, are you going to take just any tumbler or and ensure that your child is not going to lose it or get it mixed up with someone else's? That's going to be a time where we start putting names on the tumblers. I know most of us are doing that already, but this is just another avenue, another market, the schools, the kids, another way for you to make money off engraving tumblers. And then get creative. Add you know, if they play soccer or tennis, add that to, add a design to, just like we did the crown, all right? A crown, a tiara. All right, so we have our candles. These are great, simple gifts. You've been, if you've been invited over to um, someone's house for the holidays, you can put the family's name on here. But this one was actually black, and we blasted the color away. And then what we did was we left the black color, and then we added a glitter spray. Very, very pretty. Um, this piece right here gets a lot of, um, gets noticed by a lot of people uh, because of the glitter, because of, of the design. And it's just in the artwork. So you just want to kind of get creative. Glitter is always fun for the holidays. I love using my glitter spray. So ask me about it if you're interested, and I'll let you know uh, which one I use. So here we have ornaments. Big deal here, ornaments, very popular. So we have Ellie's first Christmas. And according to the feet here, these are pretty large feet. So I'm going to say Ellie was a bear. California bears, maybe, but those are some pretty big feet for a baby. Um, we're looking here at optic crystal ornaments. We also have starfire ornaments, which are clear, but they're, they're a little more affordable. But your price range can go anywhere from your cost from about $3.75 to 675 in that range. But you know what? You're going to sell these, you're going to make about $15 to $25 profit on these ornaments. Okay, they come in a little box. Look at all this detail that you can create with photoresist film. 
This is using like a three mil film. Look at all that detail. And then you are in control over the depth. Here, right here is a great, um, this is a, uh, a new couple, their first Christmas together. So again, getting creative. What does a couple like to do? What, are they new parents? Are they celebrating a 25th anniversary? Um, are we remembering a loved one at Christmas? You can put photos on ornaments. There's so much you can do. You can paint fill. But again, your range, you're making um, anywhere for an ornament, anywhere from 15 to 25 on an ornament. So that's pretty good profit for just a low-end item or an affordable item. You have these cute little jewelry boxes. And you have here, I mean, you can put all different kinds of, you can put a design, you can put a, a message, a monogram, but a very cute glass Jewelry, um, jewelry box. They come in different shapes. You got hearts, you have um, stars, all different kinds of shapes of jewelry boxes that you can engrave on. Let's look here. Uh, beer glass. So you have your stemless wine glasses, your beer glasses, but take a look at this unique glass. Look at that. It has a, a beer bottle inside, and then look at the shape of the glass. We were able to fit a whole stencil on this shape because the SR3000 is very flexible. And then if you look, if you can tell, we have a lot of detail, real fine letters, that was all able to be produced using a 3 mil mask. Now, these glasses are unique. Um, you're, you would probably sell a set for probably around almost $60, OK, because maybe even more. You, it depends how much engraving you do. If you do just a little monogram, just a little letter, but if you do a, a larger piece, a larger engraving, then your cost is going to go up, and you would sell it for more money. One thing I do like to show people, because I'm not sure, but everybody's always concerned about blasting a champagne bottle. And this is a champagne bottle. So I'm going to try and bring it close to you so you can see that. But look at that engraving. That, this was done with the 4 mil mask, SR3000 4 mil. Look at the detail in the established 2018. But look at the depth of the lettering, and then look at the, the lettering up at the top on a curved surface with a color fill. So you have two colors on here, but it just looks so elegant. This is a beautiful gift. Now, you don't have to do like, like a wedding type gift. You can do a Christmas gift, a New Year's gift. If you're going to attend a party, you can put the, um, the host's name on there, uh, their family name. But this is just a beautiful bottle. And your material cost is under $2 for this particular piece. Because you have a, a small stencil up here and a small stencil on the bottom. But you know what? Etching champagne bottles is just as easy as etching a wine bottle or a beer glass. There's, there's nothing different about it. Sure, you need to make sure you don't drop it on the way to the sandblaster. But you need to handle it with care, as you would any glass item. Put that stencil on. You etch some depth leave that stencil on and add a paint fill. And now you have a spectacular bottle that's been engraved and it's a champagne bottle. Okay, what's the next one we have? Look at this bottle right here. This is great. This is your, your Thanksgiving bottle. Okay, you can put a family name. So we have the Matthews family, very, very nice thin text that kind of stands out against that white background. It's a one color paint, but we also have some hand-painted areas. So just adding a little bit of touch, a little bit of color to make this design pop. Now this is probably the stencil that's going to be a little bit more on this side. You're probably looking at around $3 or just under $3 for that particular stencil because it's so large. But look at all the engraving area you have. Look at all the detail. And it's really simple to paint and then hand paint. But that's a beautiful gift. And those bottles, you'll see them on the market for anywhere from like $75 to $90 and on up. So the more hand painting you do, the more paint you have, the more time you put into that bottle, that's your price going up. But if you're not a big time painter, use spray paint and just a little bit of, of, of hand painting um, if you want to practice on that. Um, but it's, it's all very doable. It's just things that you can offer, things that you can create in your business. So it's all about expanding our product lines and letting people know what you're capable of doing or capable of, of providing. We have our wine glasses. This is just a simple little design here, just some leaves on there. But again, you can put the 
a monogram, you can put a logo. There's so much you can do with when it comes to wine glasses. And if I have any glass blowers out there, this is a uh, beautiful gift that someone um, created for me. It's a blown glass of a pumpkin. But what she does is she engraves her name on the bottom. So she marks all of her blown glass with just her name and photo resist film. So let's go next to the nameplate. Now the nameplate. This is a simple um, nameplate. You've probably seen hundreds of them around and you're looking at this one is a very cool design. So the, the nameplate costs about maybe about $14 just glass but look at the color and then the background. So we have like a two-stage carve on the back so I'm going to flip this so you can see the back. We put a stencil down we use like a four mil blasted it nice and deep let me put this at an angle so you can see the depth there the raised letters okay then after we got the depth, we peeled up with a picker each of the letters. Okay, so and then we did a light frost. So we did a secondary etch on the back. And so that had the, the name kind of just pop pop in this block of glass in a sense. Then to finish it, we put the name in the front and then we made it pop with some red paint. And I love this is a new color we've been experimenting with. I love this color paint, especially for the holidays. Um, it's a, like a metallic red, but it looks beautiful on this nameplate, kind of like a chunk of glass. But now it's completely decorated with a sand carving system and some photo resist film. So it's amazing what you can accomplish by sand carving. Let's take a look at our spirits bottle. Now this is an Angel's Envy bottle, but we have it set up for a birthday. So happy birthday, Jackson Phillips, established 1970. So in this bottle right here, our graphic artist here at Raise This, what she did was she scanned in the bottle, and then she created a template off that scan. So I'm going to show you what she did. I'm going to pull it up on the screen here in just a sec. There you go. So now you see that bottle, and you see the opening under the title Angel's Envy. So you see on the right, you have the happy birthday. And that's where we're going to show the next screen of where she created like a proof for the customer. So here, she dropped in the artwork underneath, in that open area underneath Angel's Envy, and now she has that, that artwork set up. So that's almost creating like a proof for your client. Really nice, it's a great tip. Leave the stencil on after sandblasting and then you can add a paint fill. Okay, um, I'm going to get to this one in just a moment, but let's go to the back. Let's go to the book, the cookbook holder. And that, I'm surprised at how many people inquire on this particular piece. Because I'm thinking, hey, people don't use cookbooks anymore. They use their phones. They use their iPads or computers. They're not cooking by cookbooks. But you know what? There are a lot of people that do cook by cookbooks. And this, this is like a great gift because... You can only, it's like for your grandma's secret recipe, or if you have a friend that uses cookbooks, you can engrave that family recipe, and that stay, stays in your kitchen. It's a great gift. I'll tell you, um, someone has bought this particular item, and they have a neighbor that is moving out of state. And this is a very close friend for many years, and they would exchange recipes. So when she saw the sample, she said, can I put a recipe on there and sign my name at the bottom? and give that as a, as a going away present, because they're moving out of state. And I said, that's a great idea, I'm gonna share that, because you never know what, what kind of gift someone needs. Some people have everything, you gotta get creative. Okay, uh, let's talk about this one right here. I love this gift. This is a great, a beautiful gift. Look at this decanter, and let's take a look at the glass. Look at that etching. I don't know if you can see how deep that is, but this was done with a five mil mask, high pressure, silicon carbide, 120 grit, okay? Um, look at the cut glass. This is called an Inverness cut. And that's, it's cut all the way around except for the front panel. And that's where we do our engraving. But you have a matching decanter, beautiful topper here. And just look at the depth. Can you see that? It's just amazing. I'm shocked sometimes at what our film is capable of doing, the depth that's, that it's capable of achieving. And using a, it's a very quick blast. So you're looking at, for this depth, four minutes. 
using five mil. For the glasses, two minutes each. Your masking material is like 70 cents, 60 cents for these S's here. Very inexpensive. But what would you sell that decanter set for? Now I will tell you, this was sponsored by a company called The Glass Scribe. They're in um, Scotland. And they have a beautiful decanter um, display. They offer many products, but they really have a great decanter um, product line and with glasses. And you can order the cut glass all the way around or just one panel open to do your etching. So I thought that was amazing. And then they have the little tray. Beautiful. But you're looking at a piece here that's what, what is this worth to you? If you receive this as a gift, what would it be worth to you? Because I look at that and I say, that's high dollar. You're looking at $225 to $300. But again, a simple design. Let's pull up the artwork so you can see that. In our artwork, black equals blast. So we're going to take a look at our artwork. We'll pull it up on the screen, and there you go, right there. That's the simple artwork that we created for this particular piece. And again, I just love that piece. It's beautiful. Um, the sandblasting really makes this piece stand out. You have your simple shot glasses. I have a customer that was using vinyl and doing about 75 of these a day. And he's like, I'm done. Send me custom mask. So that's something that we can offer you. If you are unsure of making your own stencils, we can make them for you. But it's this is great. Shot glasses are very popular. You can put your a name, initial, a logo. There's so much that you can do. And then check out that depth again. That sand carving. And look at these are great little stocking stuffers. Again, small little jar. And this is moonshine. And it looks like the lid. Oh, did someone get into this? It looks like someone broke that. Oh my gosh. I think someone. It look, doesn't that look off-centered? I think someone got into that. What can you do? <laughs> you have, at least no one got into the cake, right? All right, so we have our coffee mugs. These are double-walled. And these are great because they're glass. They're very, they're, they are pretty fragile, but you're still able to etch on them. And look at that depth on there. Looks great. Look at, we have coffee and cake. Can't get any better. Or espresso. And then afterwards, you have your whiskey, right? <laughs> Th these little espresso cups, they're so cute. And then look, you can etch on the back. Now, I can't tell you, some people were afraid to etch these because they're like, oh, no, no, these are too fragile. They're fragile. You know what? You just got to handle it with care. Don't throw it in the blaster. Handle it with care. Let's look here. We have, um, this is like your affordable project here, your affordable gift. These are coasters. Um, great little sayings. I'm going to tell you, though, when we were researching some sayings to put on coasters, they were getting to be rated R. I had to say, no, 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 PG-13, guys, PG-13. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at what we have here. We have, I'm between the cup and the table, cute. Sit your glass down, protect the wood, and here's one right here. Don't put a ring on it. There we go. Can you see that? Kind of cute, cute little saying right there, trying to not get the reflection there. But these are cute coasters. So again, if you have questions, please send in your questions. Happy to answer them on any of these products or the blasting or the materials used. Um, this look at this stainless steel knife. Now I'm going to pull that up so you don't have, so you can see it without a reflection. But this was actually a gift from a customer. He wanted me to place it in our, in our, um, glass case to show people because, let me see here, can you see that okay? Let's see here, down, is that little? Okay, so he wanted us to show this because he lasers many items. He has both, he has a laser, he has a um, sandblaster, but he said on, these, on this particular item, a stainless steel item, he says, I, I have to sandblast them because the finish is just a smoother finish. Now, granted, you're not going to sandblast every single thing if you have a laser. You're going to pick and choose what you're going to laser, what you're going to sandblast. But you, this particular item, I'm giving you as an example, can be sandblasted. And you have a little um, cake knife, again, decorating for that baker you know, with something like that beautiful cake, which is not engraved. There's no name on it. That's what that means, right? 
you have here, um, this is an announcement, a baby announcement. So again, a gift that could be all year. You have your uh, baby announcement. It's on a wood plaque because it went with the theme of the baby's room, the decor. But beautiful statement, sandblasted. And again, when you're dealing with wood, you're d you have now um, options to color fill. And you have many colors that you can choose from. I love painting. I love to paint. I love to play with color. But this one, we just put a little dab of red. That's, that's what the mom wanted. And I'm like, are you sure you don't want like blue feet or anything? No, no, no. Black with a red heart. Okay. We can do color, but you have options, guys. Um, let's take a look from my, with my glass artists, my fusers. Okay. We covered the glass blowers, but let's look at the fusers. This is a fused recycled wine bottle with just some text on here, some design. Again, use with photo resist film. You use the kiln to melt it, and you can put cheese on there, create a little gift. You know, some people will use like a special bottle of wine that was maybe an, a special anniversary, and then they will recycle it and use it as like a little cheese tray or, or decor. Um, and so they have that bottle forever. It's not just an empty bottle sitting somewhere, but you can actually put the date or you can put a monogram. There's so much you can do. But this one was put in a kiln, melted down, and you have some photo resist on there. This was painted before the kiln, kiln work, and that way it's food safe on that particular one. So let's look here. We have a beautiful bread bowl, but in the bread bowl we have a jar of jam. Now again, how many times have you been given a jar of something that was homemade from someone's kitchen? And they have a cheesy label on it, right? It's all smeared with the marker. Why not engrave that? Why not offer this as a gift for someone where they can say, would you like us to put, you know, um, Mrs. Clark's kitchen or Sally's kitchen, homemade? There's so many different things you can do. Um, personalize it or just engrave it just like this. So when they open this jar, they are remembering, you know, Aunt Sally's kitchen that she made that for them. So that's really cute. Again, just a simple idea of something that we use all the time. So we have here a bread bowl, another gift here filled with carbs, okay? This should really say the carb bowl. Um, we have bread. Uh, we have here the wording from the movie, It's a Wonderful Life. So bread that your house may never go hungry, wine that you have joy and prosperity, may reign forever, and I believe it's salt that says may your life always have flavor. So very, very cute. But again, you don't have to put the saying on it you can put someone, the, the Thompsons, or you can just create a beautiful saying for them, you know, a family full of love and, and who it's from. So you have ideas. It doesn't have to be a wood bowl. It could be any bowl. It could be a glass bowl. But again, filled with here, um, you can fill it with anything and give it as a gift. So now I'm kind of tapping into that, those gift baskets. But you know, there's so many, there's so many items that you can do. So let me kind of go over our project for today. So the project for today is going to be a simple Pyrex dish here. And we're going to do some engraving on it. I'm going to put a design right here on this side, but I'm going to blast it from the back. And this is um, borosilicate sand or borosilicate glass. OK, what is that? This is a glass that's used for like a lot of pipes, water pipes, as well as Pyrex dishes, baking, so it can withstand high temperature. We're going to do the engraving on the outside. Now, we can't go very, very deep because we don't want to lose the integrity of the glass. But we can do a basic surface etch on this. And I will tell you that I'm experimenting right now with doing a paint fill. So I'm, doing, I'm experimenting with doing a paint fill that is actually food safe. All right, so let's go ahead and let me make a stencil for you so I can show you how easy it is. What do you need to make a photoresist stencil? So that's what we use on all of these products here was a photoresist stencil. We used our SR3000 self-stick film. Now with the, with the self-stick film or making a photoresist film, your artwork will always be black and white. In our case, black equals blast. Okay, so everything that's black is what will be etched or sandblasted. I'm going to use our SR3000 photoresist film. 
Now it's in a foil pack because it's light sensitive. So you need to remember that it, it is light sensitive. You can't open it up next to a window like I have my window over there. I would never open it or work with it next to a sunlit window. But in my area right here, I can work with it. I have a standard electrolyte unit. This is my UV light. Okay, so I'm going to apply, I'm going to use this to transfer my artwork over to my photoresist film. So let's go ahead and make a stencil. Now, how do you get the artwork? Now, the artwork, it's vector artwork. You can create it, you can purchase it. There are so many websites out today offering vector art um, subscriptions. So you have a, a wide range of products that are of artwork that you can purchase. Let's look here. There's a shiny side and a matte side. I'm going to show you how easy this is. Place the shiny side down, your artwork side, your ink side down. Okay, so you're going to transfer that over. We're going to roll this up in the cylinder. It's just a little electrolyte blanket, and we're going to compress this so it's nice and tight. The artwork is compressed to the photoresist film, so there's no movement between the two during exposure. Very important. What's happening is we're, we're at 20 seconds, so 20 seconds to burn the film, basically. We don't want to go over. We want to keep it at 20 seconds. It cures very quick. Okay, we're going to turn that off. So some of you may ask, where did you get that clear film? How did you get this? So this right here is my artwork that was printed on an inkjet printer. So I ran this through my inkjet printer, printed it black and white, and that's my positive. <clears throat> now it's on here. So let's go ahead and wash this out. Again, your shiny side is against the white board here. So this is my washout board. Attach that here. So that's my, my mask. I'm going to take my hand sprayer, has a garden hose fitting, and I'm going to connect it to my faucet. Now, when you purchase the mask making kit, you have the light, you have the hand sprayer, and you have the washout board. Now, the hand sprayer comes with an adapter. And this adapter here can fit multiple different size faucets. If you don't like the plastic adapter, then you can certainly go to like a hardware store and then purchase the heavy duty adapter. But in my case here, my garden hose fitting will fit directly onto my faucet, the way that we have it set up. So let me test this real quick. Okay, we're good to go. Let me fix this real quick. I have a little wrinkle. Okay, there we go. So now we're gonna wash this out. Everything that was black in my artwork is now gonna wash away. Okay, so I'm starting out with cold water. Hot water will help it to wash out faster. If you notice my nozzle distance, about one to two inches from the mask. And I have, I'm just pretty straight on. Nice consistent stroke. And so what we're looking for is we're looking for that, that blue material <coughs> to dissolve so it can look white against the white board. And that's why we made the boards white. They're epoxy powder coated. They provide a great contrast so you don't overwash your film. You want it to look, you want your design to look exactly like the white board. Now again, please let me know if you have questions. We're happy to answer them. We're standing by. And you can see that film just breaking. We're just about done washing out. Now, once this is washed out, I no longer have to worry about the sun or it being exposed. We're going to remove the magnet here. Oops. Lift it up. Let me take my. Now let's take a look. You can see that looks completely white. 
all washed out. And that's what you want. You want the artwork area, the black areas, to be completely clear. So it's completely washed out. It's ready to go. We just need it to let it dry. As it dries, it has a sticky side to it. But we made one earlier, so it's going to take a few minutes for it to dry. So we're going to lay that here for just a moment. And let's talk about paint. So let's step over here. And we have a paint booth set up. So if you're creating custom gifts and you say, like, you know, I like the color that you're using, you can simply add a paint fill. So we have, this one is our uh, wine bottle that's been painted with three different colors. So it's kind of like a paint blend, okay? And if you look at these little letters, this is where your picker comes in really handy to start peeling up some of these letters if you're going to get creative with blasting. But again, leave that stencil on, add a paint fill. Now let's say that you have a laser and you don't want to go through the printing, exposing, and washing. Completely understand. This is where our red film, the laser mask, is completely for you. Okay, this is a great film. Um, it's very durable. It comes in different widths. So don't get, don't get nervous by the 12 inches. It comes in 4 inch wide, 6, 8, 10, 12. But what you do is you cut off a piece, you put it on your substrate, put it in your laser, and the laser is going to burn out your design. You take that piece and then you put it in your sandblaster and sandblast. And it peels away so nice, you can paint fill. So that's a lot of people use laser masks. It's a great product, but it's made for those people who have a laser and you want to do some sandblasting. Why do you need to sandblast if you have a laser? Why do you need to offer sand carving? And that's a great, great question. I get that question all the time. But you know what, what you get with sand carving is you get that depth. Look at that wave in there. Look at the raised letters. That's what sand carved is. You have depth. You are in control over the depth. The more passes you do, the deeper the etch. OK, so let's look at some of our products here, um, our supplies. Now, I went over the picker. Great one. Now, this is a head magnifier. OK, and this is something that we offer. It's, it's a great tool. I use it all the time. You have three levels of magnification. Okay, this is great when you're pan painting. Um, you have a light, and it's also adjustable. And looking at this, um, my crew is actually wanting me to demonstrate this for you. I don't know. I look pretty goofy. All right, so let's, should I do it? All right, let's put this on. Okay, you can't laugh at me. All right, so see this, I can barely see you. It works really, really well. You're magnified at 100 times. So my eyes are like huge bug eyes. I look like some of those emojis that you see. All right, so I did it. Crew's laughing. All right, here we go. Um, my artists out there, a lot of you are sandblasting. We have different vases. So this is a beautiful vase. It's done with a lot of detail. Again, a four mil mask. You got depth. But what's unique about this is the painting, the depth the detail and the paint. And these are beautiful vases, they are very high dollar vases. And then you have something like this. This is a hand blown vase. And this customer blasts from the inside of the vase and he blasts away his color. Again, a blown glass. He's blasting from the inside. He's blasting the color away. Amazing. It's just absolutely beautiful. And that, that is one of my favorite pieces. And again, a creative decanters. We kind of went over decanters, but this is a, create, a creative one with the gold plating edges. All right, and then we have our straight board. This is, this is um, a customer that uses a photoresist film to etch these, surf, these uh, skateboards. And they're beautiful, they're unique, they are great gifts. And straight, hey, they're in the business of gift giving. And that's what our segment is today, is gifts. Creating gifts, and I'll tell you, my son has two of, two skateboards. He uses them all the time. He loves them. So let's go ahead and let's get on to our project. But before I mount the mask, I'm going to go to my stocking stuffer here, and look at how cute these are. We have our little wire wheel rollers. This is going to be great. We're going to use this. We have a rubber roller, and we have a picker. All right. So let's take a look here. Be careful not to pop any balloons. You might hear me scream. Very serious. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look at our mask here. 
We have a washed mask that is completely dry. Okay. And then we have one that is drying still. Okay, so we have, we do not have the dryer on, so otherwise it would have been dry already. But you can see that milky look. You can see which one's dry and which one is still wet. So it's, it's tacky, it's just not quite ready. So we wanna make sure it's completely dry before we mount our stencil. So let's come over to our Pyrex project here. I'm gonna turn this over. And you have a lot of ID marking here. We're gonna put the logo off to the side. And what is this logo? It's initials, JW. Um, it is, and there's two knives. So JW is a chef and he makes wonderful food. Okay, so let's, I'm gonna pat this down. I'm just gonna show you how user-friendly this is. Patting this down. Now look at, I can pick it up and move it around. I'm patting this down and let me squeegee it a little bit. Now look it, I can still remove it. Isn't that great? That, my friend, is a very good film. All right, so let's go ahead and let's line this up. Let me make sure I have it correct here. And that looks good. I want it in the corner. So we're gonna turn it over, take my squeegee, kind of apply a little pressure. Now remember, I did squeegee this and I repositioned it. So the reason why I'm telling you that is because it's so repositionable, you need to make sure it's secure to the surface. So we're gonna use our rubber roller as well. I'm just using my fingernail, I'm gonna peel this away. Great, I'm gonna take my roller. I'm just gonna apply a little bit of pressure here, I'm just kind of rolling this down. And I see a little bit of air bubbles. I'm just gonna use my wire wheel roller. And all this is doing is just perforating the thin membrane that's holding my design together. Okay, and you can take your roller and just kind of secure this mask to the surface. All right, let's apply some tape. Now, I do not need to tape the whole piece. I'm just gonna tape the front and a little bit of the side. So your, your sand will go where you direct the nozzle. When we're blasting, we wanna stay at a 90 degree angle. And this is true with anything we're blasting. If we're blasting the wood recognition piece here, um, if we're blasting the coasters, it's the same stencil, it's the same product, the same method over and over again. Now let me know if you have any questions. I try to kind of go over the different films that we use um, for the different products. Like we used on um, the Thanksgiving bottle, we did use a four mil, okay? We used a four mil on that one, um, just so we can capture the detail. All right, so here is our mask that's on our Pyrex dish, and then we're gonna blast it. So let's put this in our sand carving system. And I'm using our most popular 2034 sand carving system today. Okay, um, this one right here, what's great about it is it's adjustable. So you can raise and lower it to where you feel comfortable. So today, I want to make sure that my forearms are kind of like parallel to the floor. So I'm standing straight up and I'm not hunched over. We want to make sure we have good posture. We want to make sure that we are blasting comfortably. And if you notice that our sandblast systems are epoxy powder coated, so you see this textured treatment on the metal surface, and then it's also on the inside. So it's on the inside and the outside. And this epoxy powder coating is the highest form of treatment you can do to metal. So let's kind of talk about, we have a regulator right in front of us. We have our switches. We're blasting around 30 pounds of pressure. We have a water trap. And this is where your air compressor would connect. So you have all heavy duty hoses. Okay, and you have a, a water trap built in and a simple foot pedal to step on the, you step on the pedal and sand comes out and you are ready to start blasting. Let's talk about our sand blast system here. So I'm using a 332nd nozzle. Okay, that's the size of my nozzle. When I step on the pedal, you're gonna see sand come out. Okay, I don't want to hear air, I want to hear sand. I want 50% air, 50% sand. 
the sand is going to help me cut my design quicker. So now I'm moving my nozzle over the design. And you see that thin plastic blasting away that holds the design. Okay, and we're just gonna do a surface etch here. go. And again, we're just doing a surface etch. So you would do the same with any, any item. If you're blasting crystal, you're blasting wine bottles, this is going to be the same process right here. And some people are going to ask me, why are you not wearing gloves? Well, I'm not wearing gloves because I'm blasting at pretty low pressure. All right, I think we're almost done here. Let's take a look at what this looks like. All right, this looks pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and peel this away, clean this up. And if you notice while I'm blasting, all the dust and debris is going somewhere. It's all going into what we call this vortex air wash. So everything is going inside this metal container, this baffle, and it's going through an air wash, and it's separating our good sand from our dust and debris. So let me take my air gun. We're going to blow off. Use the air gun to blow off some of our dust that's on our plate. Okay. All right. And we're going to shut this door. And let's go ahead and wash this off. I'm just going to peel this away. All right. Here we go. And look at this comes off pretty easy. You have this just peeling away really nice. And this is the great thing about using cell stick film. SR3000 peels away so nice that when you add a paint fill, it's easy to clean up. I'm gonna remove this and let me add some water to this. And then I will add some water and finish cleaning this up so you can see the finished product. going to take a little sponge here. And there we go. And again, we just use a three mil, just a surface etch for this piece. All right, so again, let me know if you have questions about the process, about the film, about printing, using a laser mask. We are standing by, ready to answer your questions. All right, so let's go ahead and put this over here on the table so you can see it. And how long did that take to etch? Did not take long at all. And I'm hoping you can see it clearly. And you can see the piece completely etched. We have our design. And you can also put like a recipe on here. I see a lot of people use, they'll engrave a recipe. Some people engrave the inside, trying to get the reflection off so you can see it. But again, there's so much that you can do. You can get creative. Um, this is a logo that was engraved or was embroidered on an apron. Um, for this gentleman and he's a chef he's an amazing chef
but let's say he makes a casserole, like an amazing lasagna or something like that, and he has his logo, he's giving it as a gift, or you have someone's recipe on there and you're giving it as a gift. That's a great gift. It's a custom gift. And that's what we're about. We're about custom gifts today. Everything you have here is a quality gift. Gift. You have etching, you have depth, you have crystal, you have fine crystal, spirit bottles, um, wine bottles, you have with color, without color. I mean, there are so many custom gifts here that you can create with your sandblast system. And I always tell people, when you're looking at sand equipment, when you're looking at a sand carving system, it's going to be with you for 20 years, maybe even longer, if you buy a good one. So you want to make sure you invest in quality. Because you know what? You sell quality, you should invest in quality, right? Raisist is here to help you. We're here to help you get started or help you with any of these projects that you see that you would like information on. We're here to help you. Um, one thing I'd like to mention is a big thank you to Monica Perez, who set this whole room up. This is, we're calling it our Christmas workshop, and it's absolutely beautiful. Down from the snowflakes down to the balloons. Look how beautiful that is. And you have it all completely decorated for the spirit of the holiday season. What is that season? It's a season of gifts, it's a season of giving, but it's also a season of buying. All right, so we want people to buy our products. So you need to, to be ready to create, to expand your product line, right? All right, so I, hopefully I gave you some great ideas. I want you to look at our booth. We have our virtual trade show booth. Take a look, get some ideas. One thing I do have on there is our YouTube channel. I have a link. Okay, we've invested 20 hours of training for you, 20 hours of going over spirit bottles, wine bottles, um, optic crystal. We've done all of that for you. And so you want to take a look at that Christmas. You want to take a look at our YouTube channel, Sand Carving. Subscribe to it. Get, what, get information what you need from there. <coughs> Excuse me. And then... <laughs> okay, it's Christmas at Raises. We want to, who is Raises? We are family owned and operated. We want to thank you for joining us. We have experience, been with the company for 18 years. No better company to work for. I just want to thank you for taking the time to listen to our presentation. And I want a big thank you to the owners for allowing us to set all this up. All right. We want to thank you so much for joining us and let us know again if you have any questions. And Merry Christmas.